Donald Trump's surprise victory in November, many of the construction and infrastructure-related stocks soared higher in the hopes that he'd be able to pass some kind of infrastructure bill. Blinkly, this was always kind of a non-starter because the Republican leaders in Congress seem to be allergic to government spending, unless it's on the military. But if anyone was still holding out hope, you got to believe that, well, they might have given up after the revelations that have shaken the White House in the last week. Yet many of these infrastructure stocks are still hanging in there because regardless of what happens in Washington, business looks real good. Take U.S. Concrete, USCR, which, as the name implies, makes concrete and aggregates for construction and infrastructure markets. Here's a stock that's rallied close to 40 percent since the election. And while it got slammed along with the rest of the market yesterday, Yesterday, it's already bouncing back. Reason simple. This story isn't about some mythical infrastructure bill. It's about the excellent results that U.S. Concrete reported two weeks ago. The company posted a monster 42 cent earnings beat off a 13 cent basis, higher than expected revenue, up 22% over the year, thanks to strength in its core markets in New York City, Dallas, Fort Worth, Northern California, a couple others, where they're slated to help build Google's new campus and Golden State Warriors new arena. Nice work if you can get it. Stock surged from 62 to 71 in those numbers. While it's pulled back to just under 67 since then, I think it's got a lot going for it. So let's check in with Bill Sandbrook. He's the president and CEO of U.S. Concrete. Get a better sense of how his company's doing and where it's headed. Mr. Sandbrook, welcome back to Mad Money. Thanks. Good to see you, Bill. Thanks. Good to, see Good to see you. Okay, Bill, in your Thank conference you. call, which has really answered a lot of questions for me about the economy and your company, you say this, and this is interesting because interest rates have gone down. We seem to believe the construction cycle is a healthy runway for continued expansion. I look at your book of business, and I think America's growing. It is growing. Our, our business is growing. You can see in our first quarter results, as you said, revenues up 22 percent, EBITDA up over 60 percent, and a healthy backlog that increased sequentially and from year over year the previous year. That is not the sign of a slowing economy. <laughs> no, it's not at all. And as you said before, you know, we're not relying on the Trump infrastructure right. bill. Well, those first quarter results were, as, were, were driven by things done in the Obama administration, right. the tail end of of his administration, the passing of the FAST Act, which is an additional infrastructure spend. But only 18 percent of our business is infrastructure. The rest depends on a growing, healthy economy. And when you're in Dallas and you're in New York right. and you're in San Francisco and you travel a lot, you know how busy those well, cities are. I, I think people have to know this. You are doing the work for Facebook, for Google, and for Workday, and for an Amazon fulfillment center in Texas. These have got to be among the biggest construction jobs in the country. They're, they're very large jobs, very large users of concrete. And that's where our sweet spot is. The large, difficult to, to perform uh, construction jobs is where we make our bread and butter. Now, it also seems that people are underestimating the power of states. Uh, both New mm -hmm. York State and California, mm -hmm. two liberal states, if you want right. to ask me, end up, they're backing a lot of infrastructure. Well, sure. California recently just passed that RRA bill, $52 billion. It's going to be the biggest chunk of cash uh, going to your... 40, million, 40 billion of it's going to go to roads. And uh, the Port Authority just passed their $32 billion 10-year spending plan to help the infrastructure in New York State, or New York City, excuse right. me. And that, those are big, big dollars that haven't been there historically. No, no, let me ask you, is there something about your company that allows it to be able to do bridges that other, other people can't bid on? I think these bridges must be hard projects. They're hard projects, difficult specification and right. difficult service levels. And the portfolio of businesses that we built up in these big... Uh, populated cities, right. not many companies can do these jobs. Now, you also are in West Texas. You know we talk about the Permian. Mm -hmm. This area is just, it's caught fire again. It's, it's gotten a lot better than the last two years. And that's really been a big swing for your earnings. It's been a big swing, but that, that's not what really drove it. It's, okay. it's Dallas has driven it, New York City has driven it, and San Francisco. LaGuardia, 375 Cubic, I mean, cu uh, thousand cubic yards? Yeah, it's a, it's a very large job. And anytime you come in there, you can see our trucks. So, in other words, when the president says, listen, we got to redo our airports, those really are gigantic jobs. They're big jobs for Why? concrete. Why? Because of the concrete, because the runways are so complicated and large, and, and the depth of concrete needed right. means more cubic yards. And they put yards. a lot of people to work. A lot of people to work. And there's, like, a, what, about 100 more airports that could use what LaGuardia has in this country, <laughs> judging from what I see? And, and the terminals, as you know. Right, and the terminals. And, and then this was very interesting. And people think about maybe some of these foreign companies not doing big business here. Your second largest is Toyota's North American headquarters. Right. Which is more than just the headquarters. It's the 4,000 jobs that come into Dallas because of that, and the housing that's needed, the schools that are needed, the infrastructure needed to support 4,000 more people. Well, now, there's a question on the conference call where someone says, why um, are you thinking about expanding your areas? And right. you said, listen, we are in the areas, and we just want more market share in those areas. Mm -hmm. How, did you pick those areas knowing about growth? I mean, it's just something about you knowing about where the business would be? We, we've reinvested in the areas that we thought were going to grow okay. faster than the rest of the economy. All right, and you've made these acquisitions in New York that have mm -hmm. just serially helped you, right? Significantly. We have 17 concrete plants in the five boroughs now. 
Could you explain to me the, the one that's near Philadelphia? I didn't understand what that meant to have in, the sand on. Oh, the Corbett Sand and Gravel. Yeah, what does it mean? It means that we can supply sand to our New York City operations by water. So we produce sand in South Jersey, truck it a short distance to a dock that now we control, and bring it to another to other docks in New York City that we also control, and you can get trucks off the street. And the price of sand coming off Long Island is so significant that this just helps us get another margin on a product that we consume, that we self-consume. So no, you're not taking them up by 95, you're putting them no, on barges? Barges, yes. How'd you think of yes. that? <laughs> it, well, it's more cost efficient. That's what you do. That's, that's what, what you do. do. Yeah. All right, so the last thing, um, do we have, are there more that I'm not thinking about that are bidding that we're hearing? Because I've got to kind of mm -hmm. put the wall on hold. But are, mm -hmm. are there a lot of jobs out there that are coming, and maybe more road jobs that we just don't have yet? Yeah, there's a significant number, and more to come in 18 and 19 just because of these under, other funding sources that we talked the, about. Uh, the last question, do you really have enough people can do these jobs? Do you have enough drivers? Do you have enough workers? We're expanding, and we do have to work harder than we did before to get drivers, for instance. Uh, people want a job, though, a driver. Want a job, and, our, and our, our employees are paid very well, especially in New York City and San Francisco. Those wages are really good, and it's a great entry career for people to start. Well, it tells me that infrastructure really is a way to put people to work, but you got to have more than just the private sector. That's Bill Sandbrook, President and CEO of U.S. Concrete. Stock have been down now. It's all the way back up, and it's doing well. May have money's back after the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.